is a Coin 6 News weather alert. As the temperature across Oregon gets hotter, the air quality getting worse, and that includes the Portland metro area. The Oregon Department of Environmental Quality, the DEQ, issuing an air quality advisory that could last until tomorrow night. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola, and in a few minutes, we'll be checking in with Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach for Portland's most accurate forecast. But first, Ariel Yakabazi live. And Ariel, what do officials say is causing this advisory? Yeah, hey, Jeff, good evening. So DEQ officials say that this is mainly because of an increase of smog in the Portland metro area in the afternoon and evening times. But they say that doesn't mean that we won't see any wildfire smoke filtering in at certain times of the day, not only in the Portland metro, but in other parts across the state. Things are heating up. It is what it is. Just deal with it. Hot weather means people trying their best to beat the heat. We come here probably once a week, okay. sometimes twice a week when it's really hot. There you go. I try to walk the dog uh, early in the morning. But now the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality issuing an air quality advisory for many areas in the Pacific Northwest, including all of the Portland and Vancouver metro area. We'll probably try to stay inside on a day like that, just for her. Michael Locke with the Oregon DEQ tells me the advisory is mainly because of smog. It's hanging out there in the air and it interacts with the heat and the sun and that's what forms that air pollution. He also says they're keeping an eye on smoke coming from the Williams mine fire burning near Mount Adams. With that and with all the other fires combined, um, we thought that the models might show that there's going to be some smoke that comes here between now and Friday afternoon, but hopefully not. Dr. Sarah Present in Clackamas County tells me poor air quality can affect anyone, especially vulnerable groups. Uh, we consider that to be infants and young children, and that's because they, they breathe more frequently. Pregnant women also have uh, circulation di differences. People with underlying conditions. Dr. Present tells me while masking up helps, it's best to avoid going outside altogether. We'll probably just take it easy tomorrow. Then if it's going to be bad and come back when it's when it's nice and clear. And that's exactly what some neighbors say they'll be doing over the next few days. Like you're going to be throwing the ball in the house then, it sounds like. Yes, yes. And she'll be doing parkour around the couches and all that good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so back out here live, I'm told another great resource that you can just look at on your phone is airnow.org. It's actually going to show you like what where the air level is. And for right now, it's in the moderate air level for the Portland area. But of course, you can put in your zip code, your city or state area as well. So that's another resource. But we also have Portland's most accurate forecast. And you'll hear from Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach in just a moment. But for now, reporting live on the Portland waterfront, Ariel Yakabazi, Point 6 News.